Okay, so this is how I uh, edit the glass texture. Uh, basically, you're going to need two programs. You need WinRAR and Paint.net, both, uh, both of which you can download for free. And what you do, you go down to your Windows Start menu. You type in percentage sign app data uh, percentage sign. So if you can't see that, um, that's what it looks like. Percentage sign app data percentage sign. Put that in, and it takes you to this folder called roaming. You want to go down and find your dot Minecraft folder, and you want to create a shortcut and drag that onto your desktop. So once you've done that, you can close your roaming folder. And um, yeah, so I already have another shortcut here. And you can see it takes you to dot Minecraft, where you have your bin folder, your save files. If you want to back up your saves, this is where you have to come. And what we're interested in is going into the bin folder and going into the Minecraft uh, jar. So you want to open that with WinRAR. And you should get something like this. And yeah, this is where all the textures and other stuff is uh, stored. So on the desktop, I'm going to create a folder, a new folder, and I'm going to call it uh, Minecraft uh, Textures. And in that folder, I'm going to drag, uh, first of all, the file called terrain.png. So here it is here, terrain.png. Uh, drag it in. And there's a bunch of other textures in here that you can edit. So you want to go up to the top or wherever. See, um, here in, for example, the uh, terrain folder, there's the moon and the sun. And if you want to edit any of these and put them in a texture pack, it has to have the same kind of folder um, layout. So the sun and the moon have to be in the terrain folder. And so, yeah, to make it easy, I'll just drag the whole folder. Uh, and there you go. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the terrain.png with paint.net. And I need paint.net because it has transparency. And I want to make this glass transparent. So I'll zoom in using Control Plus and find the glass here in the top left. And there's a couple ways I can delete it. I can either just use the rectangle uh, select tool and select everything I want, press delete, or I can use the uh, eraser tool. And with the eraser tool, uh, you have to watch out for the anti aliasing. So you go up to this squiggly line, make sure anti-aliasing is disabled, and then you can delete stuff pixel by pixel. So if I draw in uh, something here, uh, you can see if I have anti-aliasing enabled, it sort of half deletes it, and that makes it semi-transparent. So you have to enable it, and that way it's all pixel by Oh, disable. <laughs> and that way it's all pixel by pixel. So anyways, I'll just select the middle of the glass. Uh, press delete. And that is that for this uh, file. So you can go around uh, just to show you changes on a different texture. Uh, I know I'm in the middle of a birch forest when I load up my save, so I'll change the look of the birch which is down here. So I'll just zoom in on that. Uh, and I'll draw, I don't know, I think I'll draw a smiley face. A green smiley face with some uh, red eyes, of course. There we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. He's got some big eyes there. I think some pupils will probably make him look pretty weird. Uh, yeah, okay, anyways, you get the idea. 
Save that. Uh, auto detect the bit depth. Okay. And also for fun, I'll just change the the sun. So again, open it with paint.net. Um, there you can see the sun. Zoom right in. And I will make the sun stripey. Oh, and here you can see, um, possibly not, but if you're using certain tools, they'll have the anti-aliasing. And again, you always have to have it disabled. We'll disable that. Um, do a little stripe across here. I'll just keep it within the boundaries of the sun, actually. And make it blue uh, down there. And green in the middle. And red down there. <laughs> Or purple, whatever that is. Okay, so I'll save that. Uh, okay. Okay, close that. And the final step to making a texture pack is saving these. So, because they all have to have the right file structure, what I'm going to do is go into the folder I made. Oops. Go into the folder I made. Select everything in there. Right-click on it go down to add to archive and if you don't have these options you can drag open winrar drag them in and select add to archive and you want to make sure it's a zip uh, file not a rar file so select zip uh, give it the name you want minecraft textures that's okay um or actually i can give it a name as well so i'll create a new um text document is that what i want yeah text and you just call it pack p a c k uh, okay and call it um i don't know red eyes glass or something red eyes glass uh, i don't know if the format matters but i'll uh, soon find out so yeah, add to archive, make sure it's a zip. Okay, and then you end up with this um, zip file here. And the zip file wants to go into, uh, in the Minecraft folder, there's a folder called texture packs. You just put the zip file in there. And now when you go into Minecraft, it should be there as an option under the uh, texture packs uh, button here. So I'll click that. Here it is. It says red eyes glass. Uh, I'll just use the default one and show you the difference. So here it is loading up the world. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I have to click on it first. <laughs> so here it is. Normal, normal ugly glass. Hmm. Yep, hard to see through. Normal birch, just kind of white. Where's the sun? There it is. So now we'll uh, save that. Select the texture pack we just created. Go back in. And way. There's our new fancy sun. Our new happy birch trees. And. Uh, better than anything, our new clear glass. And that's really it. So, uh, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I don't think I'm too good at making tutorials, but, you know, uh, whatever. I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, so let me know what you think. Okay.